Today, I want to try out these dies that I got recently. So I'm just gonna basically cut them, see what they look like, and I thought I would take you along with me. So this is officially my very first craft with me video and I just want to test these out. I don't know if I'm actually going to make anything. I just want to see how they cut, what they look like, and just play with them a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got, um, let me move this a little bit. I have my die cut machine here off to the side. So I'll move that right here and maybe move you up a little bit so you can see better. Um, again, this is my first craft with me, so I don't, you know, let's just see how it goes. But, uh, all right. So I want to start with this one because I'm most excited about this. So I'm going to grab the plates for this. I'm curious, um, you know, if any of you have used these die cuts yet, um, or these dies, I should say, what you've made with them, if you like them, all the things, so. This machine is still pretty new to me, so I do have the instructions out for the sandwich, um, just to refer to, because I'm used to using the Sizzix, and so this is a little bit different. All right, well, let's open this up. I can't believe it's taken me so long to try these out. I've just been so busy. I finally signed up for Whatnot, so I can sell, like craft supplies that I have doubles of, you know, with all my, U my, um, not YouTube, my <laughs> Goodwill hauls and things. Sometimes when I buy those bags, there's things in there that I don't really need. So I thought I would have a good outlet to sell those on there. And then as well as some of the things I hand make. So that's that. I guess it's a plug. Um, my name on there is Kristen Louise. I, maybe I'll put the link in the comments. I know if you use my link, you can get $15 to spend and it doesn't have to be with me. It can be with anyone if you're a new user. So anyways, first of all, I love the envelopes that these Sizzix dies come in. I just think they're so well made. They're very nice. So we have the film strip. We have the outer piece, the inner piece, all these little squares, um, which I'm assuming will cut so yeah so it'll cut something just the perfect size for this and this will cut something the perfect size for this so I'm gonna grab some paper I think I mean black and white we have to do black and white right because this should I want this to look like the viewfinder slides so I'm gonna grab some black and white and then maybe something that has little images that we can cut out with these squares to fit in this. So I'm gonna grab that and then come back. Okay, so looking at this, um, I guess this part we should cut out with white. So I'm gonna, oh, that will actually fit. Okay, I'm gonna cut this down. Or actually not cut this down, I'm gonna lay this down. Actually I am gonna cut it because, will it fit? It should fit on these. I'll probably hang off a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it. Okay. Let's trim a little bit of this off. Set that aside. And so the sandwich is you got your plate and then a metal shim, which I kind of cut into. Um, very annoying, but whatever, it still works. You know these plates get really messed up just after one use, it's fine. So the metal shim and then the magnetic mat. And then your cutting die face up. So here's my die, which really, <laughs> really magnetizes down there. I want to kind of put it up to the side just to preserve some of this paper. And then after the die, we got the material and then the other plate. Okay, so that is the sandwich. So we'll turn this on. I really love this. Um, the Anna Griffin Empress machine. I, I really like it. It's just makes die cutting so much easier. I still have my, my Sizzix Big Shot because I do still have some of those big thick dies. So I'm definitely not going to get rid of that. But oh, I just love this so 
so much. So you just put it in there and push run and it just does everything for you. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Okay, well, that's not quite what I was expecting because I messed up. I needed to cut out this whole thing. I needed this to cut out the outside. Okay, well, let's do it again, I guess. So. If I want to cut out this whole thing, we got to put both these pieces down. So I'll just match this up. You can see these little notches that line up, hopefully, somehow. Um, here we go. No, that's not right either. What's going on here? What's going on here? Uh, what am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? Why is this? I feel like the notches should all line up, right? Like, ah, uh, there we go. Okay, there's how it goes. So we're gonna lay that down. I don't know why that was so hard for me. I really don't. But it was apparently. Okay. So let's try this again. I'm gonna put this back and. Uh, I'll just put that like that. So that'll be fine. Ah, there we go. Now we got our piece. Okay. Now, what if I, oops, sliding away. Okay, I feel like we need to cut um, a black piece out just with this circle for our background. I have little pieces going everywhere. <sighs> oh, okay, let's cut this down a little bit so it fits better. I am using a heavier weight cardstock. I think this is 65 pound. Um, I guess, actually I thought I grabbed heavy, but these both feel like 65 pound. Uh, whatever. It's fine. Okay. So where were we? We need our base plate. Where's our metal shim? Here it is. Metal shim. Magnetic, magnetic mat. We're going to cut just this circle out. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And then let's run this. And then I think if we put a little brad in the middle, we can make it spin. Very cool. Alright, so now we got our back piece. And then we can put like I said, a brad in here. So for the back, for behind here, while you could individually perhaps glue pictures onto each slide, I guess that's what we should do. So I did pull, it's kind of hard, honestly, to find something that was small enough. And this isn't even actually small enough, but we can get like parts of the birds. I'm sure if I looked... I could find something better or even print something, but I feel like we can get like this and that would be cute. So I guess we'll do that. So I think I'm going to take the little squares and tape them down with some low tack tape, some mint tape, and just kind of frame it where I want it to cut out. So I guess it would need to go like this. So if I want him to be like that, I'll put the tape right there. And this is going to be a lot. <laughs> so 
So I'm definitely curious if you have this die, uh, what you've made with it. What did you do for this part? Um, obviously, it would be really cute to print some actual like photos of family members and put them behind this. Um, maybe you could do like some words. You could do a, like, oh, you know, if it was like a birthday card, maybe you could do... Um, maybe you could cover all these squares with something with a color and just have one open then have your message so that you'd have to turn it and you'd have like you know a word in each uh, square that would only reveal as you turned it you could do something like that I don't know could be something let's see I really need to get my nails redone <laughs> they are really growing out um, <clears throat> I never thought I would be, this is the wrong one, I think this goes with the film strip. I never thought I would be someone that got my nails done. However, um, I guess this is a get to know me as well. I had breast cancer in 2021. I'm in remission, remission now, um, but all the medications I was on and I had to have a complete well, I don't want to be TMI, but whatever. I had a complete hysterectomy, and my my cancer was estrogen receptor positive. So basically, we have to get my body to very low estrogen because that was what was triggering the cancer growth. So basically, my hormones are all out of whack, um, and my nails were so thin between chemo and the hormones that they were just break there and they were always thin anyways even prior to cancer but they were so thin they were just like breaking all the time and the like painfully so I decided to start getting them done to make them stronger and it's kind of a nice little treat I mean it's a really nice little treat I'm very happy that I'm doing it um but otherwise I probably never go get my nails done <laughs> so anyways um so what is this? Two, four, six. There's obviously I'm gonna have to run this through twice because I don't see any more of those little squares. Yeah, there's only six. All right, well, let's run this through and see how this works for our little windows. Is that everything? Yeah. Um, oh wait, I need to put this like this. <laughs> Oh, the reason, the whole reason I started mentioning my nails is this. Sometimes it's kind of hard to, like, pick things up. I messed up. I shouldn't have put the tape over. I should have just put it on the frame because now I have to peel it completely off, which is really annoying. But anyways, I think that'll be cute. The little birdie peeking out. Anyways, you see what I did. Don't do this. Just, I mean, it's really small, so I don't know. Maybe it's unavoidable, but... It cut the whole piece of tape right with the square, obviously, which I wasn't thinking about. And so now you gotta peel each one off, which is gonna be really annoying. So I don't know. This one's kind of coming up better. I do like this uh, mint tape. I don't know. If, I'm sure you probably know what it is, but it's just really low tack tape, so you can keep your dies in place, but it's not going to rip your paper or pull any of the design up. I feel like washi tape would probably work the same. Um, I just got this roll when I started die cutting, which hasn't been that long. Um, and I don't always use it either because of magnetic mats. I had the mag magnetic mat for my Sizzix too, so you don't always need it. So it's lasted a long time. But I feel like when this is gone, I might try to use washi tape because I have a lot of washi tape. And I honestly don't use it very much. Um, I moved it over to my craft table here. It's off to the side because I thought maybe that would inspire me to use it more. Um, when I used to do like planning, I got washi tape and even then like I, 
liked buying it, but I didn't use it very much. Or when you do use it, it's such a small amount that it like lasts you forever. But anyways, since it's really low tack as well, I feel like it would work just as well maybe. So maybe that would be a good use for it. But with my nails, it makes it hard to like peel this up sometimes. I don't know how people do it with like really long nails. I feel like I would not be able to do anything. Like, look at this. I can't even get this up. I can't get this tape off. And it's not because of the tape. It's literally because of my nails. And I'm totally bending this whole thing up. Maybe I'll get a little pick. There. Okay. There you go. So I got these little birds. I'm going to have to cut more. Um, but I want to put these in here. So this side kind of has an embossed edge. Um, I don't even know if you could have seen anything I was doing. Um, okay. So let's see how these will fit. Like, how do you even glue them in? That's my question. Like, because they fit right in there. So I almost feel like we have to glue them to this, which means we need to line this up and glue them to the background. So that's all lined up. Nope. Why do I have such a difficult time <laughs> lining this up? I don't know. It's not that hard, but apparently it is. No. Are you screaming at the screen? I probably would be if I was watching this. There we go. Yeah. Yes. No. See? No. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I just need to set this on here and glue these pieces in. So let me grab a little clip. Uh, just a paper clip. Maybe. Just to keep this in place. Mm, there's a hair. Nice. Go away. Okay. Just gonna glue this or clip this here so I can glue some of these down. And let's grab Let's just grab this, I guess. But I think I have the... Yeah, I need to switch this bottle for the finer tip. So let's switch this out. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, so I probably will only cut this die in this video because... I mean, is anyone even watching? Probably not. Okay. Let's glue this down. It's a little teeny fine tip. I really love this glue press thing. It's so handy. Saves my hands. Okay. See, I think that's going to be really cute. So I'm going to glue. I'm not going to do all of, I'm not going to cut any more in this video because we get the idea. I want to glue these down and then I want to put a brad in the middle and see how this works out for us because I feel like we're going to need to put some kind of something in the middle to add a little dimension so that when this is spinning, it's not catching on these little pictures. You know what I mean? Like maybe just one of these little, a couple of these little squares maybe that it cut out. We'll glue them together and we'll put that in the middle just to add a little, um, you know, to raise this top part up a little bit. I'm also working on a bird and flower themed junk journal. And I feel like this would actually be a really cool little interactive piece to put in there. So I'm glad I actually grabbed these birds because I can put it in there. Okay. So 
I can go back and glue in some more, but I'm gonna grab some brads. Um, can I grab them from here? These are not brads. Okay, so I got a big thing of brads here. So let's see, do we want a color, like a coordinating color? I think so. Well, let's do, let's do this pink. That's too big. Let's do this pink one. Okay, that should work. Okay, we'll use that. And then I'm gonna take some of these little squares and glue them together to have, to add some dimension to this. So it can spin without catching. Uh-oh, there we go, without catching on these. So let's just, which I love too when I can use <laughs> scraps because then I feel like I'm being so economical. I'm not wasting stuff. So, oops. I don't know how many of these we need, but since I have a few here, I'm just going to glue several together. And they don't even need to be like perfectly lined up because you're not going to see them. At least that's my plan. They shouldn't be visible. So let's see. I feel like that should be enough. Um, but now we got to poke a hole through all that to put our brad in. So that might be a little bit challenging. Probably should have poked holes in them one at a time before I glued them together. But again, this wouldn't be a craft with me without um, mistakes, right? Oh, that was fine. That is... So this little tool is, what are, who is this by? We are memory keepers. It's just a little brad setter. I mean, it's totally unnecessary to be honest, but I really, <laughs> it's one of those tools where like, oh, that's like gimmicky, but I always love gimmicky things. And I actually use it a lot. Like it's, it's, it's got a nice little pokey end. It's really great for poking holes. I mean, look at that. It pokes through all that, however many layers that was. And anyways, so I do like it. I'm a fan. So there we go. Okay, so I poked my hole. I'm going to line these up. And where's my little Brad? Where did you go? Oh boy, there it is. This Brad is quite large, but I think this will poke through. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we'll poke our little part in there. Yeah, I think that's gonna work great. And then this little end helps you separate the pieces on the back so you can bend them down. And look, oh, this is so cute. And if this is glued into a page, um, it, you know, it's gonna work even better. So I'm not going to glue it into the page yet because I feel like some of these, that's weird. I thought I glued them in really nice, but you can see a gap, but that's all right. Um, that's okay. But I think we need some ink around the edge. I think we'll ink this a little bit. Um, maybe we should take it apart. We'll ink it a little bit and then that'll be that. All right. Maybe I will do that off screen later and we'll cut these other things just so we can see because this video is already super long so I'm just gonna cut these film this film strip and this right here with this paper that we used and then that'll be that for this video I guess um I hope I hope this wasn't like really boring um again it's my first craft with me, so, whoops, what am I doing? What am I missing? 
Oh, I'm not missing it. Okay. Let's run that through. Ooh, that sounded bad. <laughs> but again, these always make noises, so it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it wasn't. It must have shifted. That's all right. That's very cool. I love that. And then there's the other one that kind of shifted and cut off a little bit. This is also good for poking, getting these off. Okay, so that was my fault because it shifted into this circle, but but it still actually be kind of cool. It's like a broken film strip, right? Okay, well, I guess that's it for this video. Um, I hope that maybe you got some ideas of how, how to use these dies. And um, I hope you enjoyed maybe getting to know me a little bit. And I will see you next time. Make sure you uh, leave comments like which die should I do next from this set. And let me know if you've used these, if you have any ideas. I would love to hear it. And um, I'll see you next time.